Hey guys, it's me Chris here and today we will be talking about the Olympus ME15 lapel microphone and why you shouldn't buy it for recording purposes, whether it be for YouTube or general interviews or anything else uh, for that matter. So without any further ado guys, let's go ahead and step straight in. So the Olympus ME15 lapel microphone, as you might have guessed, is a lapel microphone. Now, what a lapel microphone is, is it's a small um, microphone that you can basically wear on your clothing. Uh, this is used to keep it nicely disguised and doesn't stand out um, and take away from the main um, scene or object that is being recorded. So, yeah, that's a quick uh, fact there or um, update on what lapel microphones are but the Olympus ME15 is actually quite a nice microphone as far as build quality goes. Um, you get quite a nice clip with it. From my experience from using it um, in the testing process, it seemed like quite a nice uh, microphone as far as build quality goes, but the audio quality wasn't that surprising. Um, and it provided, you could say, okay audio. There was uh, nothing up with it, except the frequencies in which it produced were extremely high meaning it was very high pitched um, and in fact I wouldn't say extremely high pitched I just say it doesn't have the full vocal range so with this seven pound microphone which I'll link in the description which I actually highly recommend um, it's had mixed reviews but from my experience I really do like it this is the Speedlink microphone like I said that'll be linked in the description below anyway so the Olympus microphone provides a um, audio experience that is very limited I would say because it doesn't give you the full vocal range and what I mean by that is right now um, when I'm speaking you're going to get a good dynamic range from the lows, medium and high. With the Olympus you seem to just get more between the medium and high range rather than getting that low end um, kind of frequency as well so that was the biggest thing that turned me off of um, the Olympus ME15 lapel microphone but one thing I did like is it didn't generate that much noise which is a big plus um, for a microphone so that's a positive you could say uh, to that microphone but on, on my overall experience which is only for a couple of days I wasn't that um, impressed and I'm not going to use a microphone that doesn't give you a good dynamic range and especially I wouldn't say it's expensive and I wouldn't say it's extremely cheap it's around 20 pounds which is quite cheap um, but like I said this is only seven pounds and it provides an okay audio experience so I'm happy there um, but yeah so if I'm recommending the Olympus ME15 I would probably only recommend it for certain uses um, such as Skype maybe, something like that. But at the same time, why pay £20 when you can pay something like £7 or £8 for a speed limit? It doesn't make sense to me. So yeah, that was just a quick update really on the, the um, Olympus ME15 lapel microphone. You guys maybe wanted to see this video, so I thought I'd get it out for you. I have actually returned this as I purchased it from Amazon, or it was in fact a gift for my birthday. So I returned that. And I am looking at the Audio Technica microphone. I know there's a huge range. I can't actually specifically remember which one it is. I'll put it up in a little image up here or something. Um, but yeah, looking at that, if you guys have any recommendations, make sure you drop it in the comment below. Um, I'll probably be ordering that either tonight, uh, tomorrow night, or very soon, really. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. That is always really appreciated. I've uh, got lots and lots of content coming up really, really soon. As you can see, I've got my double monitor setup going on here. So really happy with that. Allows me to get good workflow and lots more content out to you guys. So really looking forward to that. And I have got a big surprise and I'll be going for triple monitors as you do. So yeah, really looking forward to that, guys. And I'll see you all very, very soon.